uh, we need a refrigerator. Because all our stuff's going to go bad, man. We need a refrigerator. So, yeah, forget about the hover vessel, you know? Make that, make that fridge. Let's get that, let's get our fridge on. You know what I'm saying? What's up, Space Cadets? This is KG4A, and welcome back to my Let's Play for Imperial Galactic Survival. And we are back here on Xanris? Xanris? I have no idea how to say that. Um, Xanris, I'm pretty sure that's true. You know what I didn't notice last time? Uh, this little faction area down here? Check it out. This shows you which colors are which faction. So this is the Xerox, and I think the Xerox are the bad guys. Now, as far as I understand, you can actually get faction with the bad guys. They're alien bad guys, right? The Talon, I think, and I could have this wrong, but I think the Talon are the natives. They're like quote unquote good guys. Um, they have little villages and stuff and they kind of roam around. And I think the Polaris is the people that are in space. I could be wrong about a lot of that, but I think the Xerox are the real bad guys. So we got to watch out going in the south, right? But it is the nighttime, and there's a couple things I want to talk to you about before we get going any farther. First of all, let's go over the temperature thing on the top right hand side. There's a bunch of numbers there. Um, the first one, the the, top, the first one up here is the temperature. You can see right there uh, is the temperature. The one below it is radiation. Okay, and the way the temperature works is the big number is the local temperature. The small number, the small bottom number, is the outside temperature. And the small top is the body temperature. Is that is that right? I think it's 71. Now, local temperature is like if, if you're inside, I guess. Or in a cockpit, maybe. Like, there's a difference between the outside temperature and the temperature in your building, right? Um, out, yeah, outside temperature, small bottom. So it's 69 degrees out. 71 is the local temperature. I've got a little bit of protection here. And the, and the small top number is my body temperature. And I think it's because I'm wearing clothes. Do I have that right? The, the temperature thing always confuses me. Anyway, the other thing I wanted to do is sleep through the night. So let's do that now. We're going to press F to sleep through the night. And we're going to continue with our adventure. I heard some guys out here earlier. I hope there's no baddies out here. I don't know. I don't know. I heard some aliens. I started getting nervous. I was like, oh, nah, you know. All right. So let's let's go ahead and let's craft a... Oh, really? We have to craft a weapon? Seriously? I already crafted a weapon. Can we craft another weapon? Am I... Hmm. That's gonna... I really don't want to have to craft another one. I mean, I guess I could just put it in the... Uh, yeah. There's no other weapons. Can't, let me see if I can spec into a, into a rifle. I think I have to be level 6 to spec into the rifles. But let's check. No, I already spec the assault rifle. That's right. You can't make the assault rifle in this little thingy right here. All right, that's okay. We're going to bite the bullet and make another pistol. Uh, there's a cool thing you could do with the pistol that I'll show you after. Uh, let's go ahead and craft a detector. A detector, you say? Well, what the heck is that? A detector, a detector. What? D does any of this stuff look like a detector? Maybe I have to spec into it. Maybe it's those glasses. Do you think it's those glasses? It might be uh, the glasses. Or, no, that's an ore scanner. Oh, there's a detector. Uh, we'll show the global direction of... Oh, I remember this thing. Okay. Okay. Aren't there two kind of detectors? There's one you carry on your actual character, and then there's one you can put on your ship on a hover vessel. And what this thing will do is it'll it'll light up like a yellow bar showing you where stuff is. I remember this now. Boy, I totally forgot about this when I started this Let's Play, and this stuff is legit awesome. All right, so we just crafted a weapon. Now, what I can do, I'm going to wait until I'm done with the quest, but what I can do is we go to the factory. You can pick anything. It doesn't matter. Then you go to the factory, and it will ask you, like, let's say we want to make a, you know, a crappy little hover vessel. You go right here to the factory, and now it'll ask you for all the materials. And what you do is you could drop the gun right in there, and it will it will put the copper, silicon, iron, or carbon, or carbon of what was used to make the gun. So that's freaking awesome. I'm waiting until the... Um, Oh, it's over. Okay, great. I was waiting until the quest was over. So let's do that right now. Check it out. There we go. We didn't get anything for it. It, it did uh, lower the production time, though. Um, there just wasn't that much put into that gun. So, which is fine. All right, let's take the ore scanner. You don't have to have it in, You don't have to do anything with the ore scanner. You just put it in your inventory, as far as I understand. So that's great. Now we need to explore the alien signal. All right. So do you have to put that thing in your hand? What's that? Oh, that's the... um. Unknown helix. Is that... Whoa! Hold on. Hold on. Stuff's going down. Those freaking bugs. I really don't want to fight them. They're, it's just not worth it. Not with the not with these weapons. Um, we do have a burn. Uh, will this work? Nope, that won't work with the burn. Um, 
We might have some stuff in here that would help with the burn, but the problem is this guy's going to keep shooting at me. So let's see if we can get in here without getting hit. Any of this stuff help with that? that what is it called? Some kind of burn thing. I don't know. Uh, hold on. Let's see. Yeah, none of this stuff looks like it's going to help. There we go. Dermal burn. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. Dermal burn's gone. We're getting some hit points back. Let's GTFO. Or at least get out of this immediate area. And let's take a look at our map. So this wants us to go check out the helix thing. What's over there? Oh, that's the helix thing. Wait, there's two of them. Oh, that's weird. Oh, there's one over here. Alien unknown helix. All right, so which one? I guess it wants me to check out the yellow one. Um, okay, well, let's go check out the yellow one. I don't want to sit around here with that freaking bug. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead. Um, I think this gives us some more health. Right? Yeah, that gives us a good amount of health. So what we're going to do is we're going to come out here and check out this um, unknown helix. And we're also going to keep an eye out for more honey. That stuff that I'm eating that's um, healing me is honey. Um, I think the first... What am I running around for? What 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 are you doing, Cage? What are you doing, bro? We got, we got a motorcycle, man. Come on now. So because in Seven Days to Die, I turned with the mouse. And, with the mouse um, turning with the... WASD, you know, is kind of weird to me, but, or at least the, the, uh, the A and the D. The A and the D. <laughs> oh, man. That doesn't sound right. Put the D in the A. That's what, that's what I was getting at. Just in case you couldn't tell. <laughs> All right, well, whatever. Uh, let's grab some more of this honey. At least there's lots of it. Now, you'd never leave this thing on the ground because it will disappear on you. I don't know how long. It probably lasts a good few minutes, but I I'm not going to take any chances with it. All right, number five, staying alive at number five. Beautiful. Grab some more of this honey. Okay, so you see I'm on the top right-hand side of my mini-map. You see those red lines? That means there's stuff in that direction. That's what that, that's what that scanner is doing for me. The scanner is awesome. I can't believe I forgot about that. It's like one of the coolest things, man. Like, I love that scanner. Absolutely love it. All right, so it looks like this... I don't even know if I picked up that last thing of honey. I don't think I did. Nah, yeah, whatever. Let's just go. All right, so I don't think my healing my healing thingies go bad, so I'm gonna make sure I use the honey instead of the healing thingies. And they put the honey every all over the place. That's really nice. Is that guy gonna attack me? Hmm. There we go. And we're getting 100 XP and healing items. Now you know what? I'm not gonna pick any more of the honey unless I need to, because as you pick it, it goes bad. Uh, we need to make a ref we need to make a refrigerator. Um, We'll get, we'll get there, guys. There's so much to do in this game. This Let's Play is going to be super long because this game is awesome. And there's lots of stuff to do. And I'm having, I'm, having, I'm having a good time with it already on Episode 2. I'm just freaking psyched. I'm just psyched. This is so good. It could be a little grindy at times with the um, digging out of the mines. But we got some, uh, we got some ways around the grind. Uh, this isn't the type of game that's going to leave you, you know, using inferior tools for too long. You're going to get better tools. And the mining is going to be, you know... It is what it is at the beginning, and you're going to get better tools, and it's going to get a lot better. So, just wait. You guys will see. All right, we're almost there. Don't drive in the water. Oh, not a big deal if you drive in the water. I just didn't want to. Come on, get in there. Let's go. I'm, I don't know why there's two of these things. Oops. Sorry. Sorry. I don't know why these two of these things. Last time I played, there was only one. It's kind of weird, but it's okay. Okay, we gotta get the, uh, we gotta get the construction, the construct- Oh, um, my guy's hot. Wait, how is he hot? It's- The outside temperature is 50, 60. How come he's hot? Is he hot from being too close to the bike or something? Congratulations, you've successfully completed Robinson Protocol Basic Exploration. And we just got some more points and leveled up, so that's awesome. Let's go ahead and pick this thing up. And let's take a look at the... I strongly suggest you guys do Robinson Protocol. So this is telling me about vessels, but uh, they don't want me to go explore this thing? Let's go. They don't want me to explore this? Well, I'm going to explore it anyway. I didn't come all this way for my freaking health. I mean, this thing just looks crazy. Craft the, craft, craft the vessel starter. Craft. The, yeah, they want me to build my own vessel. That's... Well... You know, I could build my own vessel for the first time, just for you guys. Just a basic, stupid look. I'm going to tell you, I, you know, I could build bases, but I am not good at um, building other things. Wait, can I, can you actually get in there? 
oh, maybe this isn't something you can actually go in. Now, if I had... I wonder if I could damage this. You cannot damage the target. I wonder if I could damage it with this. Nope. Okay, so... I have no jetpack because I don't have a suit. So, as far as I know, there's really no way to get in there. I'm probably not meant to get in there. So, let's let's head back to base. Oh, I love this vehicle. I love this vehicle. By the way, I think the Robinson Protocol quests are out of order. And I'm going to show you what I mean in a moment. Let's try and get in here without getting attacked by that stupid thing. Alright, let's pick that up. Let me show you what I mean here. I was looking at Robinson Protocol. This is the vessels. This is the building. Um, I'm pretty sure you need a constructor to make the parts for the vessel, right? It's telling me to uh, make thrusters, cockpits, stuff like that. I'm pretty sure you need a constructor for that. So these are out of order. You probably want to do the building one first. Also, this gives less experience, which leads me to believe that, well, either way, you need, you, it doesn't matter if it gives less experience, but you need this stuff to craft the vessel. So I'm going to actually activate that tutorial and that should just pop up hopefully. I'd like some. I'd like to get some walls up and stuff to protect myself, because um, obviously it ain't safe here. Oh, yeah, this is the one we want. We want to mine iron, mine copper, and mine silicon. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we are going to right here iron, copper, silicon. I'll do one with you guys, and then I'll do the other ones off camera because you know don't really need uh, don't really need to show you all of them because it's a little you know. It's a little tedious in the beginning. Like I said, you're, you're mining with the worst drill and, you know, I'm, I'm not going to spoil what we could do later, but I'm telling you right now, the mining gets phenomenal later. I mean, I'm, I'm just not going to spoil it. It's just awesome. All right, so here we are and we just stand right over and we go to the copper and we just start drilling. Let's go ahead and do this. Let's put the uh, load this thing up with some biofuel. Then what you're going to do is you're going to hit F5. And you're going to use your drone. That's right, guys. You have a drone. Yes. Yes, you do. And the cool part of the drone is you come over here. And I'm telling you, use the drone. Because if you get caught in this hole, you might not be able to get out. Right? So you're going to use the drone. Now, the drone handles like ass. Uh, I'm not going to lie. It, it handles really, really poorly. Um, there's something you could do with the O key that kind of locks it or something. I don't know if I just did it or not. I'm not really sure how it works. But, um, yeah, we should be uh, pretty good with the drone now. And you're just going to mine down. You know, he's using the drill that's in your hands somehow. Uh, and there we go. We got some copper already. Now, do I have to pick up the copper? I don't honestly know. They've changed the game around so much. There's all different kinds of, of ores and stuff. There's these ores. They're called voxel ores. And there's other ores later on that you'll need a detector for. And those ores are, like, actually, like, you know like nodes underground and you mine them you have to pick them up and they give you a, it's really weird it's really weird but it's weird in a good way it's weird in a good way all right so we just we just mined all the copper we need and that's it there you go that's where our drone was awesome just awesome well i just got all the ore i need and they seriously want me to craft a chainsaw to pick up lot and uh cut cut down trees and pick up logs huh ah man i'm so far ahead of you guys it also said, Commander, you need a base to rest and heal. And I was like, yeah, the, why you, Why was your next quest to make me do a hover vessel? <laughs> that didn't make any sense. So we're going to put everything in there. And then we are going to make ourselves a chainsaw. Don't forget, the chainsaw is not wasted. Because we can always throw it in our, um, you know, in the, uh, the factory thing to craft other, you know, items. All right, so that's good there. So um, there was something else I wanted to make. And I can't quite remember. Eh, it probably wasn't that important. Um, okay, so we got that. We got that going. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. I wanted to make biofuel. That's what I wanted to make. Make a few more biofuel. All right, give me that chainsaw. We gotta go cut down a tree, boys. I don't know where that alien went, but he seems to be gone. So that's that makes me happy. That makes me very happy. Ooh, are these uh berries? Yes, beautiful berries. Berries are pretty good. You can make the juice out of it. We have we gotta get a base going too because we need a um. Uh, we need a refrigerator because all our stuff's gonna go bad man we need a refrigerator so yeah forget about the hover vessel you know make that make that fridge let's get that let's get our fridge on you know what i'm saying all right so what would you like me to do next game hmm what would you like me to do next start building a base for yourself uh craft a base starter craft blocks place blocks okay okay um so the base starter will be 
in here, base starter. And then we're gonna craft some blocks. Concrete blocks are the best because they are cheap. They just take cement. And cement takes, I forget what, I forget what cement takes. Well, they're probably not cheap now because I don't have a lot of uh, stone. Uh, cement's right there, we need stone dust. Yeah, I'm gonna need more stone for this. But um, they're still cheaper. It's easier to get stone than other things. So let's go ahead and craft up. I'm gonna craft more than that. There we go. All right, while I'm waiting for that stuff to craft, I'm gonna go mine some stone. All right, guys, I don't really know where I'm gonna set up base yet. But since I had to dig stone anyway, I decided to dig some stone below me. So in case I want to like live down, you know, make a little subterranean base, you know, I could. Um, I needed the stone anyway. I might not live here, you know, uh, but it was as good a place as any to get stone. Um, you didn't even need a lot of stone really to make these blocks either. So that's really nice. All right, let's put down our base starter. And we are going to put it connected to this base somewhere. I'm just not sure where. We can always move it later. So it's, it's not really a huge deal where we put it, but I think we'll put it right here. Oh, can I not connect it to this base? Oh, do I have to actually make my own base? That's crazy. I thought I could connect it to this base. Yeah, it, hmm. I thought I could, unless they change that. Yeah, I don't know. I don't. I. I don't remember. I thought. I thought you take over the base, but I guess not. I gotta make. I gotta make my own base, and it can't be really too close to this one. So, um, I'm gonna do a very basic base. Um, I'm definitely not gonna live here for. Actually, hold on a sec. I got an idea. Let me try one thing. I, I definitely do not plan on living here for very long, but I kind of want to live in this area just for now as I get set up. But what I was thinking was sometimes, you, you know, in the past you could do this. Uh, on some games and other games you couldn't. What I would do is I would set up my base inside the iron mine and then just mine it out during the night or whatever, you know. Uh, just kind of live there and then they made it so you couldn't build around the uh, mines anymore But then they made it later you so you could so I don't really know what it is right now. Oh So you can okay, so that's beautiful. That's beautiful. All right, so how do I want to do this? Start it right there Sure, why not? So that's cool. So we can actually start in the iron mine. That's great. That's great It's gonna give me a lot of stuff to do at night if, if I choose to not sleep through the night All right, cool so let's go ahead and it's gonna be a little tricky. Oh, no You can get stuck very easily down here. This is a mistake All right, this is a mistake. Yeah without without a jetpack. You got to be very careful So I think what I can do is I'm gonna mine this out And then kind of jump up here. Okay. Oh cage be careful, please. Please, please, please Let's make a staircase right freaking now. No, I just did the same thing all right, uh, it looks like they're very generous with allowing you to jump, which is nice because you could get stuck in there so easily. Uh, build with you, damn drone. Just trust me on this one. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to put that right there, right? Right there. And then that right there. Make a little staircase out. And then we're going to kind of... Yeah, we're going to dig this out. All right. Yeah, this this will work. This will work. I got some plans. I got I got some plans rolling around in the old noggin. Uh, number seven. By the way, in case you're wanting, you right click, and this is where you can grab all of the different, you know, like types of block. Not not types, as in like different kind of blocks, but shapes. That's how you get the shape. So instead of like having like 50 different blocks you can craft, they do it this way. It's so much easier. I wish the fun pimps would do that. All right, not working. Come on, seven. There we go. Okay, that's looking good. That's looking good. So let me put this down here. And then if you hold down the button, it'll go like this. It'll kind of like, you know, go in a line. If you hold if you hold down control, it goes in like a square. The building in this game is just top notch. Like top notch, no joke. All right, so let's do that. And we're going to come around over here. And we're going to hit this one right here and then do this. There we go. All right. All right, looking good. And we're gonna take out our drill and just start drilling this way. Kind of break this out a little bit. You can tell there's like dirt and sand near the surface, which is pretty cool, I like that. All right, so uh, will that be good enough? No, no, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do another level up here. We're gonna run out of blocks. It's okay. 
Uh, no. We'll do that there, that there, that there, that there. Then this can come across here. This can come across here. It's very basic, man. We're just trying to get underground. There we go. And let's move my guy. All right. And I'll put that... Ah, put that there. I can't break that out either. Son of a... We need to find a Promethean deposit is what we need to do. I might have to actually go... I think tomorrow is the first thing I'm going to do is go look for a Promethean deposit. Because uh, I, I seriously can't break that out. I wonder if I could blow it up. Let's see. I can't tell if it's taking damage. I don't think it is. Um, well, I think I could... I think I could switch to my multi-tool to see if it's taking damage. Yeah, I could do that. Oh yeah, it is taking damage. Okay, so we can just blow it out with this. Alright guys, I went back to the uh, wreckage, moved everything over here. Because this is going to be my home. At least for the time being, until I find a better place for a home. I did make some uh, juice here. Oh yeah, look at that health. 90 health, that's really nice. That's really nice. We got to farm those uh, farm those berries. I think that'd be pretty cool. All right. So what do, what does the game want us to do next? Uh, craft a small generator. Craft a fuel tank. Can I actually do that in here? Yeah, I guess I can. A uh, small generator and a fuel tank. Uh, that's a fuel tank. And I don't know what a small generator looks like. Bear with me, guys. It's been a while. Um, is that the generator? Yes. Okay. I'm not going to... I know what else I need for the base, but I'm not going to make it. Because if I end up making something and then later on they're like, oh, make it, then I'll have to make another one. So there's really not much point in that. I'm going to get rid of this tree. It's pissing me off. Oops, that's not what I want to get rid of the tree with. Get rid of it with this. Oh, easy there, buddy. Easy. Easy, boy. Level 3 dinosaur. Holy crap. He is not a happy camper. I don't know. Actually, he looks pretty happy to me. All right, so put a roof over this. Um, yeah, this is not going to work. We're not going to have blocks to put a, a roof over it. Oh, well. We put kind of a roof over it. We'll make more blocks. I just... I got to wait for this stuff first. Here's a generator. Um, while we're waiting for our next quest, when that stuff's done, we'll just make some more concrete blocks. Okay, who saw what I did wrong? Who saw what I did wrong? Raise their hand. Yes, yes. Share with the class, please. Yes, what I did wrong was I made a generator... But it was a generator for a hover vessel, I think. Um, you got to pay attention to these little dots up on the top left-hand side, right? Uh, that is for a hover vessel or a small vessel. See? This right here, you see the little blue dot right there? That's the hover vessel. See the little green dot? That's the small vessel. So what you want to do, if you're working with a base, just click on the base icon. Much easier. Now I got to learn these. So let's go ahead into our tech tree and go to the base options. And let's go ahead and unlock the small generator. And let's unlock the fuel, 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 fuel. I must have missed it. Uh, small generator and fuel tank. A small fuel tank or uh, just a fuel tank? Okay, there we go. Plenty of points, plenty of points. Now we hit this again. We go here. Um, we don't have what we need. Oh, boy. That's not, that's not good. I wonder if I... Hmm. Uh, I probably wasted a lot of stuff building other things. See, I don't have the electronics or the computers. That says to me I don't have enough silicon. Congratulations, you've successfully completed Robinson Protocol Basic Building. Awesome. Awesome, my base is going to have power. Now, I don't know if we want to power this base just yet because I think once we power our base, um, we will be attacked by drones. Although, now that I think about it, we might be attacked by drones just by putting the base, just by putting the, the core down. Hmm. I probably should have waited a little bit, but eh, it's all right. It's all right. I'm going to make some room in here. Um, I, I think I'm going to hold off on the power until I get a constructor. Uh, as a matter of fact, can we make a constructor right now? Let's take a look. You got to hold shift to get that big jump. All right. So, um, yeah, let's see if we can make a constructor. Uh, yes, we can. Beautiful. So all I got to do is clear out some area down here, and then uh, we're going to put down a constructor. But that's going to have to wait for next episode, guys. We're running long here, so I'm going to call this one here. Let me know about the temperature in the comments, please. I don't know if, I'm, if I've got it wrong. I'm not really sure why it's saying why it's red.
I'm not sure. Maybe maybe red means I'm cold. I, I thought red would mean I'm hot, though. So let me know in the comments, guys. If you want to see more of this, uh, make sure you uncage that like button. If you like what you see here, you know, maybe subscribe for more daily videos. Eh, it might be a good idea. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy.